all right you are welcome again we are still treating the composition of partial fraction okay now let's take this question decompose into partial fraction x squared minus x minus 21 all over x squared plus 4 in bracket 2x minus 1 in bracket okay now let's go you know we have x squared plus 4 you cannot break it any further so as a result of this x squared look at what we're going to have we're going to have a x plus b all over x squared plus 4 because of this x squared so we have a x plus b all over s squared plus c then we have plus c all over 2x minus 1 hello so this just what we do okay so because of this s squared plus 4 it cannot be factorized any further so we say ax plus b all over the factor s squared plus 4 plus we have c all over the next factor which is 2x minus 1 okay now here we're going to say let's multiply everything multiply through by x squared plus 4 in bracket 2x minus 1 in bracket so when you multiply through this what we're going to have all right you can see this right now you discover that on the left hand side x squared plus 4 we cancel x squared plus 4 then 2x minus 1 we cancel 2x minus 1 so on the left hand side we'll be left with x squared minus x minus 21 now let's go to the right hand side so on the right hand side on a s plus b so x squared plus 4 we cancel x plus 4 so we'll be left with a x plus b times 2x minus 1 so on c 2x minus 1 we cancel 2x minus 1 so we'll be left with c x squared plus 4 all right so after our cancellation these are the values that we are left with x squared minus x minus 21 equal to a x plus b in bracket 2x minus 1 in bracket plus c open bracket x squared plus 4 close your bracket these are the values that we are left with okay good you know we have two factors right we have 2x minus 1 and then we have x squared plus 4 so we can set one of them to 0 so setting 2x minus 1 to 0 we're going to have 2s is equal to 1 we're looking for s divided both sides by 2 so we have 2x divided by 2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 so x is equal to 1 all over 2 so in our expression above wherever we see x we're going to replace it with 1 all over 2 so in doing so we are going to have 1 all over 2 close bracket squared minus 1 all over 2 minus 21 equal to a upper bracket 1 all over 2 close the bracket plus b close the bracket now open another one 2 open a, a bracket 1 all over 2 close it minus 1 plus c upper bracket 1 all over 2 squared close the bracket plus 4 okay good now 1 all over 2 squared is equal to 1 all over 4 now we have 1 all over 4 minus 1 all over 2 minus 21 equal to so on our a side on our a side we have 2 times 1 all over 2 2 times 1 all over 2 is equal to 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so 0 times the other bracket is equal to 0 so let's go to c see we have 1 all over 2 raised to power 2 is equal to 1 all over 4 so 1 all over 4 plus 4 okay now we have 1 all over 4 minus 1 all over 2 minus 21 equal to 0 plus c open bracket 1 all over 4 plus 4 okay so when we say 1 all over 4 plus 4 is going to give us 17 all over 4 so 17 all over 4 times c is going to give us 17 c all over 4 okay good now let's go in the left hand side we have 1 all over 4 minus 1 all over 2 minus 21 so when you perform this operation we're going to have minus 85 all over 4 we're going to have 
minus 85 all over 4. So we have minus 85 all over 4 equal to 17c all over 4. So we can multiply both sides by 4. So we can eliminate the fraction, okay? So we multiply both sides by 4. We're going to have minus 85 all over 4 times 4 equal to 17c all over 4 times 4. So we're going to have minus 85 equal to 17c minus 85 equal to 17 c so we're looking for c you can divide both sides by 17 so we're going to have minus 85 all over 17 or minus 85 divided by 17 equal to 17 c divided by 17 so c is equal to minus 5 hello c is equal to minus 5 all right so we have known the value of C, but we don't know the value for A and B. So we're going to use comparing the coefficients to obtain A and B. So in our expression, we are having x squared minus x minus 21 equal to AX plus B in bracket 2X minus 1 in bracket plus C. X squared plus 4 in bracket. Okay. Now, let's expand in full let's expand the right hand side so in expanding the right hand side we're going to have we're going to expand the first term the two bracket when we open it we're going to have 2 a x squared minus a x plus 2 b x minus b plus c x squared plus 4 c hello when you expand the right hand side we're going to have 2 a x squared minus a x plus 2 b x minus b plus c x squared plus 4 c okay good here let's arrange it based on their number of degrees so we're going to have x squared minus x minus 21 equal to 2 a x squared plus c x squared minus a x plus 2 b x minus b plus 4c okay so we have x squared minus x minus 21 so in this place we are having 2a x squared and then c x squared let's factor out x squared so when we factor out x squared we're going to have 2a plus c we're going to put it in bracket then x squared outside okay so we're going to have 2a plus c in bracket then x squared plus so in this place also we're going to factor out x so when we factor out x we're going to have minus a plus 2b let's put it in bracket then x okay plus we have minus b plus 4c okay good comparing the coefficient of the terms on the left hand side with the terms on the right hand side okay now the coefficient of s squared on the left hand side is equal to 1. The coefficient of x squared on the right hand side is equal to 2a plus c. Comparing both of them, we're going to have 2a plus c equal to 1. More also, the coefficient of x on the left hand side is minus 1. Why the coefficient of x on the right hand side is minus a plus 2b. So comparing them, we're going to have minus a plus 2b equal to minus 1. And then we have the coefficient of x raised to power 0. On the left hand side, we have minus 21. Why on the right hand side, we have minus b plus 4c. So comparing them, we're going to have minus b plus 4c equal to minus 21 okay so we have known our c to be minus 5 so we can simply pick the first equation all right 2a plus c equal to 1 2a plus c equal to 1 so where we have known our c to be minus 5 so replacing c with minus 5 we're going to have 2a minus 5 equal to 1 okay so let's take minus 5 to the other side we're going to have 2a is equal to 1 plus 5 so we have 2a is equal to 1 plus 5 is 6 2a is equal to 6 we are looking for a let's divide both side by 2 so we have 2a divided by 2 is equal to 6 divided by 2 so we have a is equal to 3 a is equal to 3 that is when you say
6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. All right, let's go. We have found our value for a equal to 3, our value for b equal to minus 5. Let's find the value for b. Let's go. Uh, let's pick the second equation. The second equation say minus a plus 2b equal to minus 1. Minus a plus 2b equal to minus 1. So, but we have found our a to be what? 3. Okay, we have found our a to be 3. So, we're going to have minus 3 plus 2b equal to minus 1. Okay, minus 3 plus 2b equal to minus 1. Let's take minus 3 to the other side. We're going to have 2b is equal to minus 1 plus 3. 2b is equal to minus 1 plus 3. So minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. So we have 2b is equal to 2. We are looking for b. Let's divide both sides by 2. Minus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 2 divided by 2. So b is equal to 1. All right? So we can also use the third one to find b also. Okay? You can also use the third one to find it to give you the correct answer. All right? You know, we have found our value for a. And then a is equal to 3 b is equal to 1 and then c is equal to minus 5 let's replace it above so we're going to have x squared minus x minus 21 all over x squared plus 4 in bracket and then 2s minus 1 equal to our value for a is 3 so we're going to have 3x plus our value for b is 1 we're going to have plus 1 all over x squared plus 4 then our value for c is minus 5. So we're going to have minus 5 all over 2x minus 1. All right. Thank you very much. Please, let's take more example. But before I forget, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please and please just click on the subscribe button now. All right.